Every September 6, the Roman Catholic Church commemorates the feast day of St. Onesiphorus, September 7 in the Orthodox Church. According to Orthodox tradition, St. Onesiphorus was one of the 70 disciples chosen and sent by Jesus to preach. They were chosen sometime after the selection of the Twelve Apostles as mentioned in Luke chapter 10 verse 1. After these things, the Lord appointed other seventy also, and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place, whither he himself would come. The persecution of Christians during Roman Emperor Nero's reign made Rome a dangerous city for Christians. However, it never hampered Onesiphorus' hospitality and kindness. He never turned his back nor deserted Paul at the time when he was being persecuted, and the latter praised him for this courage. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 verses 16 to 18, Paul sends a greeting to the man's household in Ephesus and refers to the help he showed Paul earlier in Ephesus. Timothy, who led the Ephesian church, is familiar with these acts. Paul's praise of Onesiphorus is significant because it was written shortly before Paul's death as a final encouragement to Timothy. The Lord give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, for he oft refreshed me, and was not ashamed of my chain. But, when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me. The Lord grant unto him that he may find mercy of the Lord in that day, and in how many things he ministered unto me at Ephesus, thou knowest very well. Paul spoke of Onesiphorus, wished blessings upon his house, and mercy for him, in that day, suggesting that Onesiphorus was already dead at the time of the correspondence. Towards the end of the same letter, in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 19, Paul sends greetings to Priscilla and Aquila, and the house of Onesiphorus. Paul's reference to Onesiphorus is cited by Catholics as one of the early examples of prayer for the dead. Saint Onesiphorus was the bishop at Colophon, and later at Corinth. Based on tradition, Onesiphorus has made a 1,000-mile journey over three large bodies of water, from one continent to another, from Ephesus to Rome, to visit Paul in prison, so as to comfort him. Both the Orthodox and Roman Catholic churches hold that he died a martyr in the city of Parium, not far from Ephesus, on the shores of the Hellespont. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.